Hello and welcome to another episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we we'll bring to you and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very amazing co-anchors with me, Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye and Ife Omai. Good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How, How are you doing? doing? Well, how are you? Not bad. You? Pretty I feel fit. Okay. So maybe we Do you want to just show the abs a little bit? Yeah, don't worry. It's <laughs> <laughs> na, 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 na. I know that I would. Na, 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 na. It feels okay. That boot we want to get for good. you is coming. Climax challenge. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I have a confession to make. When I saw the hashtag climax challenge. Oh, gosh. No. I, I expected so something else. I thought so too. And then I saw people <laughs> singing. I'm like, Elsie, you need Jesus. <laughs> but it's okay. Moving on. Um, Nigerian filmmaker, director, and media consultant, Niyi Akimolayo has released a 90 seconds animated video to help educate kids on the COVID-19 pandemic. He said the video is available in four languages to explain the lockdown and the pandemic to kids. Have a look. Zabi, where do you think you're going? Stay out my way. I'm going to play football with my friends, and there's nothing you can't... Silence! Oh. You think this is funny, eh? You can get the deadly coronavirus. The gorilla virus? No, the coronavirus. Do you know what will happen when you do? Do you? Do you? Ha! Huh, what will happen? You will bring the coronavirus home, and then infect everyone. Mommy will be sick, no more jollof rice. Ha! Huh? Daddy will be sick, no more going out to see movies. Oh no! Not the movies, no! Even worse, the government will come and take mommy and daddy away. Ah, uh, you're just making it up. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. See for yourself. <laughs> okay, it's real. It's real. What should we do? Hmm. The coronavirus is out there. We should stay at home for now. Always wash our hands with soap and water so we can prevent it from spreading. Boo! Interesting. So joining Tea Time via Skype is the founder and creative director at Ant Hill Studios, Nii Akimolayo. Hello, Nii. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Well, I'm fine. Catch okay. So. On morning behalf days. of Tea Time crew, we would like to say thank you for that video. But um, my question will be very simple. I know um, we can do the explanation for you, but we want to hear it from you. What inspired this um, animated video? Oh, okay. So um, I have a five-year-old kid. And uh, the moment, I mean, they're not used to staying at home and being locked at home for a very long time and not going to school. So when the lockdown happened, I had been, you know, locking myself down like a week before the actual lockdown. And it was very important to explain to them why we were doing the lockdown, why nobody had to go out. And then he kept asking interesting questions, you know, that there is no coronavirus outside. What is the coronavirus and all that? So immediately we started thinking about what it means for children, you know, to... Um, see what a virus looks like and we thought about the big virus monster and we also thought about the fact that not having the appearance around will be a major disaster uh definitely if you don't have your mom around there is no food if you don't have your dad around there's nowhere to go to so we started thinking about it largely because i couldn't explain it to my, my son and i think every other thing just you know moved on from there hello me so Hi. um i saw this video first on my sister-in-law's page she has a three-year-old and a six-year-old and i was wondering oh, i didn't even know it was you so what has the feedback been like especially from parents oh it's been amazing i woke up this morning with pictures and videos and a lot of thank yous from parents but i, I think the one i uh, like reading the most is when they tell me that the kids start arguing with them which means it opens up a channel for discussion uh, with the parents. So the videos were not designed just to tell kids what to do. Most importantly, it was designed so that adults can also help have conversations um, with their kids uh, when it happens. And uh, aside that, it's, we, I, I get a lot of reports that it's been shared on 
diverse um, WhatsApp groups, which was really great because we did it in English, Yoruba, Hausa, uh, Igbo. So it's very rewarding if it can allow people to talk about the virus. And if you if you notice in the video, we we're very serious about what the virus um, is. You know, it's dangerous, you know, out there and, you know, bad things can happen. I, I was very, very um, determined not to um, play it down at all. So, you know, it, it, I think, I think it's doing exactly what I, we set it out to do. Hi, uh, I, I know that animations can be hard to do. It's harder than shooting a film. Um, can you just give us like an insight on what Gathering the Team like was and how long it took you to make this? And then hopefully what you're trying to derive from this, like in terms of marketing and making sure that, you know, it gets to as many people as possible. All right. So, um, yeah, so animation is just another medium really it's not that it's harder than film or easier um it has its pros it has its cons you know it takes a lot more time to do but i think the beautiful story here which i really want to share with everyone is that i haven't seen any of my staff for roughly four weeks now face to face do you understand we did the entire project just coordinating via WhatsApp groups, you know, uh, uh, um, Skype and just, you know, transfers online. So that shows that animation is probably the only um, uh, uh, entertainment medium that can be done, you know, remotely, which coincidentally uh, we're using this uh, COVID lockdown to experiment with. So that's um, a story right there. In terms of what I want to do with the animation is two things, really. Um, so right now, I've been getting interest from um, Francophone countries and even East African countries. They're asking for permission to revoice it in their language and reuse. And I'm really, really happy that's happening. Um, in terms of reach, also, it would be nice if we can, but I don't have money for that. If anybody wants to put it on YouTube as YouTube ads. So you know those ads that come up on YouTube before you watch. So what I've noticed is that every time my kids watch YouTube, there is some coronavirus ad there, but it's usually, you know, from banks, you know, or like really serious stuff. But imagine if we direct the YouTube ad such that when they're watching all their kids stuff and the unboxing videos and all that, boom. This video shows um, first. So that's something that we're looking at. And of course, you know, the work that you guys are doing, putting on TV is also going to have a, a long time effect. So it's free. We're not selling it. It's important that we get the message um, across at this time. So it's, it's community service, really. All right. Thank you, Ni, for your time. You're and welcome. you basically answered all our questions. So um, we'll keep in touch and keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. All right, um, let's go on a very quick break, but when we come back, we'll carry on our conversation. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, yeah. I'm still in Africa, I'm feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Anyone with BVN cannot be termed to be among the poorest of the poor. Poorest of the poor and poor are not the same thing. Poorest people don't even know anything about financial institutions. Bank accounts and mobile phones are luxury for many people in Nigeria. Nigeria is bigger than your immediate ecosystem. Poorest of poor is one who do not even have, not to talk of putting in a bank. Using BVN to give anyone cash is akin to cheating um, those who really need the phone and this is coming from Ed Young, a Twitter user. <clears throat> In as much as um, what he said might be termed politically correct, is also some political, political BS. 
at the same time because um, it's not about we're all citizens, we're all entitled to those relief packages, whether we are privileged, whether or not, because at this stage, even though, um, what's it called now, the rich people, they also need some form of support. The um, average people need some form of support. The poor need some form of support. So same BBN, BBN, yes, I totally understand that there are people that do not even know about financial institutions. They don't even have that money to go and be saving in the bank. They, Is it that they, they don't feed, know about financial institutions they don't or have, they don't have money to they put don't have in the financial money, institutions? Like they they feed, are two different things. They, because I feel like there are people who don't know about financial institutions or they know and they're not interested, but they have cash in their house. Mm. The, and, and they, they have also, farms that they, they rely on. They that, live a certain kind of but life. But you know there are people that they live by what they sell on a daily basis. That That's, of course. What, yeah, there are also people like that. So we're talking about... Palliatives. Yeah, so at the end of the day, everybody's entitled to this. I saw another Vox Pop where somebody was like, okay, before the government gives money to people with BVN, they should check their account balance. Those that don't have... Um, that have less than 5k in their account. So I'm like, okay, so even if I have 1 million and the government is sharing money, so I'm not entitled to money. I don't, I, to be honest with you, I disagree with you, Faye. I think that there's more people who... We don't have enough relief packages for all Nigerians. So because of that what reason, we don't. We don't, we don't. We just don't. We, the government... We're, we're still... Uh, I know hearing people still asking for funds, still asking for support. We don't have enough. That's fact. So... <sighs> Even if we did, okay. because I said you want to dwell on that. Even if we did, I don't think you should be starting with people who have one millionaire in their accounts. No, I'm not saying the truth of the matter them. is that there is poor and then there is poorer. Um, I don't, I, I don't want to dwell on whether or not having access to BVNs means that could just be illiteracy, but illiteracy doesn't always equal poverty. So that's those are two different mm. things. Mm -hmm. But um, you have to consider the fact that some people would just be fine. Even in other places, you, there are a lot of other celebrities that, or rich people who are doing the sending and not the receiving. Mm. I, I think it would be ridiculous if you have more than enough wealth and you're still looking for um, government support when it hasn't even gotten to the basic of the basic. So for me, until I have heard that, until we don't have any news coverage on any city, any suburb, um, urban rather, that, um, places where they're asking for money, I don't think we should be focusing on the rich people right now, no, which is already what we are seeing already. Some, they have seen videos of people points. with jollof rice in VI, mm -hmm. with their smartphones on WhatsApp. I feel like that is not the main focus right now. It should be the people that we've been capturing here, even on Plus TV Africa, the people who can barely speak English, who don't have anything. You, That's missing, what the focus should be. So I think you're missing my point because I'm not saying we shouldn't focus on the poor. I'm just saying everyone is entitled. America gave a um, $1,000 relief package to all their citizens. But we're not right? America. We don't have that funds. Who says? The but EU we don't. gave us 21 Even billion. Even our GDP the, before wait, wait, coronavirus, we were in our reserves. So what do you mean? Like, billion naira. And you think everything is going to packages? It's so, not. Come on. They, what they said it specifically that they gave that 21 billion naira for the poor. Okay, they for did me, not say yeah. for your health system. They did not say. Mm -hmm. They said for the poor. I get they were where, specific. I okay. get where Ed Jung, that's his name, right? Where he's coming from. I understand what he's trying to say. Maybe the terms he used and all that can be punctured and to say, oh, this is not totally so. Because for me personally, I don't believe that the fact that you have BVN means that you are not poor. Mm -hmm. There are so many people with BVN. What does it? What My did it, what guy was, has the bank account. What did it take for anyone to get a BVN? Well, I, the I, fact I, that you had an account uh, account um, um, number or whatever mm -hmm. with the which, bank already, which, which and had to be registered on a house. So you, first of all, you're not on a house. It. Yes, you have to have a, a um, utility bill to be able to open a. So bank are account. you? saying that there, there aren't people who are in a house and they are hungry right now. No, I'm, I'm not saying that, but I'm Jesus. saying that people who are homeless are probably okay, homeless. Okay, people are that, It's not about... Okay, about let me just make my point. It's not about people who are house. homeless or not homeless. The fact is everybody needs help right now. Mm -hmm. Even business owners need, need help, help to stay afloat, to of make course. things work. So coming out to say giving those with BVN, I think it's a very large assumption that cannot hold waters because even... Let's even it's forget about COVID-19. There has been times where I myself sitting down here don't have up to five thousand naira in my account. Don't I have BVN? Don't I have a house that I'm living? On, uh, I have a roof over mm -hmm. my head. I mean, it happens. But this is a situation where everybody is affected. There, we've talked about the fact that there are people who live from hand to mouth. 
on this table, you go out in the morning, you make what you're going to make for that day, and it's, and it's, it's done. It doesn't mean that they don't have an account uh, um, um, balance or details, but there is just not enough to keep there. And most times they have the, some people have, should I call it salary accounts now, once the money gets into that place, before 24 hours, bills is gone it's is gone, gone is gone so you don't expect people like that to have something to fall back on i get what he's so trying to say there are poorest no need of the to poor attend to the poorest of the poor that's no, what i'm saying, no, 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 that's not I'm saying there are the poorest We're of saying, the poor okay, and they point. need help and um, I think a lot, we need to give kudos to a lot of individuals, a lot of mm -hmm. NGOs that have um, risen. We had some on the news this morning and have gone all out to make sure some people are okay, not waiting for the government. But let's not try to form a level of segregation when it comes to these palliatives. Mm -hmm. Those that don't need it, they know themselves. But I can tell you that majority of the people crying out for it, the fact that you have a phone, are you going to eat your phone? They bought this phone when they did not know that there's something that was going to lock them yeah, down. Yeah, but that's my house. problem because it's beginning to sound like as if no one asking the government to eradicate poverty and that's not what this is. That, that's this not what is, it is. Yeah, it's, this is not what this is. This is about helping people to survive the lockdown. Yeah, and I'm also saying so, that using something because as you have a, a, to okay, say that okay, people okay, have okay, enough. Okay, okay, let me, let's, let's talk about different industries now. Now, look at the actor, um, the guy who came out recently to write uh, an, an open letter to um, uh, Professor um, Oshibajo. Mm -hmm. And he was saying, he's an actor. Obviously, they're not able to go on set right now. He's not acting. He said he's down to his pot of soup. Let's even imagine he wasn't speaking for the masses and it was actually something he was going through. Now, would you say that, okay, because that guy has because a BBM, because it's popular, eat. because I think you're, you this. guys are the ones missing our points. We're not saying that everybody doesn't need help. Everyone does. You're supposed to give to everyone. I'm saying start with the people who are more poor. That's what oh. you are saying, but that's not what he's saying. He okay. is saying that, that they, we, they don't need help. Don't the only need people it. that need help are the poorest of the poor. Not, huh. I mean, there's not with segregation in the porting, but anyway, as far as I'm concerned, I'm poor. If that is the case, I'm poor. Moving poor. on, <laughs> 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 music executive and special advisor on tourism to Cross River State Governor Ubi Franklin reacts to accusation that he is a deadbeat, deadbeat dad to his second son Shilo. His South African baby mama had called him out on Instagram saying. I am, quote, Instagram daddy of the decade. Tell me, have you ever met um, this Shiloh you are busy posting? Do you know he is turning one? Public image does not raise children, end of quote. In response, Franklin said he has always met his financial obligation to all his four children, including Shiloh. He went on to reiterate that none of um, his children is a mistake. His fourth baby mama, Sanja Inhiwa, also defended the businessman, saying he has always sent money every month. She went Went on to say that Nicole, um, which is the name of the South African baby mama, has refused to come to Nigeria despite making available all that is required for her to do so. She reminded critics that Ubi Franklin cannot fly to South Africa amid xenophobic attacks and COVID-19 pandemic. Hmm. Okay, so um, Ubi, well written, but at the same time, we totally understand that he can't fly, but if if he can go if she can come to nigeria and he can go there how do you expect to see your child now sending money to a child every month will not raise a child a child needs to be raised with love and your presence it's interesting that she cannot come to nigeria he cannot go to south africa please how did the baby form do you understand <laughs> let's so, have this I conversation let's be that's not i don't think that's a, that's enough excuse because there is it's 20 like it's 2020 there's social media, there's FaceTime, there's things like that. There's ways to be very present in your son's life. Um, and the lady defending him made it sound like Of course, because finances. he's going to see her. The lady that used to drag him. Was yeah, he's going to like, see her. And now. I think Have for you forgotten her, he shared a picture with, with his son? So because he's going to see her own child, she's coming. I even at, think at that she door. has it locked down in the sense that she's getting everything she needs for that child, oh, and, if, and, that, and even that father and figure, painted to be a wealthy woman. I mean, so. that's, that's the thing. I'm not even talking about the money now. I'm yeah. saying that he. I feel like her son has that the father figure. Yes, somewhere else. This person clearly doesn't have that, and that's why there is a gap. And she's talking about it. I don't think money is enough, but I'm, I am going to dwell on money for a second and say that that's a big deal for a lot mm. of um, you know single mm. um, parents and stuff, single moms. If you're doing that, I feel like you're better than a lot of people. So mm -hmm. it's not. It's, I, I don't want to just like walk over mm -hmm. that. But your presence is needed, and I think you can make an effort to still like call them and check on them, and you know give advice and you know emotional support to the child, and sometimes even to, to the parents to.
to the mother in terms of parenting as well. So if he's not doing that, then yes, you're, you know, you're, I won't say you're dead. I just think maybe you're like zombie. Yeah, you're like you're, yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, I've been pondering on what you asked. Like, how did the baby form in the first place? Because you put if men somewhere come, now. Like, come back to go. the country where it happened so, and yeah. have it. But my own question is to Sandra and Hua because now she's the advocates to the voiceless, right? Um, she's mentioning xenophobic attack and she's mentioning COVID-19. COVID-19 started at least in Africa this year, right? Mm -hmm. And this lady is saying that he has not seen his son ever. ever. Mm -hmm. hmm. This is saying, say, okay, he's about to turn one. So mm -hmm. um, he had he had like six months to see this child. Uh, well, he says he's a busy man and all that, but I think that's not enough. Mm -hmm. I like that you said the money is a big deal, but um, just... Okay, but well, can we see have that child. conversation that not every um, separate parent have to be in that child's life, as far as I'm concerned, to be honest. I think if I have a child with a baby daddy or a baby mama, mm -hmm. I can't decide whether or not I want to be involved with that child. A according to the legal whatever's, you only are supposed to do your rights as mm. a parent. Mm. But he doesn't... I, I, I don't know. This is just now being like... A, I'm away from my standards and away from my opinions. I'm not backing this up. Mm. But he has every right to choose he has whether right, or not he wants to be involved in this person. My own opinion is that that's, he should think again and try. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Of I'm not course. saying he doesn't have the right to. He's uh, maybe he's his trying, but he should try harder. Um, because I, I don't think you don't know what the what the, the um, dynamics are and maybe it's too toxic for him this is me just trying to make mm. a living playing and doesn't want to be involved in mm -hmm. people's lives mm. and he's hoping there's a lot of families even friends I know that they'll wait till like they're 16, 17 so that he can start to have a personal um, relationship with the child okay. while he's staying present there's doing his job that. there's, there's, there's so many ways that. to look at it yeah. um, book a meeting where this baby was formed and see each other that's all I'll say since Nigeria and South Africa is not working mm. and that's how we wrap up this episode of tea time thank you for watching and join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or tweet at us at plus tv africa remember you can catch up on this conversation and all exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa you can also watch tea time on arrow tv and in london on ben television my thank you as always we go to my co-anchors ife omai and ife Olua oshoke and the entire production team Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay home and please stay safe.